Okay, it's the start of the brewing process for the mint chocolate imperial stout. I'm with Dean of the Masters Brewery. Right. We're going to be working together today. What are we doing first, Dean? Right, here we are. We're mixing all of our, what we like to call, adjuncts to the beer. It's all the extra little bits of grain just to give it those decent bits of flavour. Lovely. All the good bits of chocolate and all the nice different kind of malts. So, let's get adding these in. Okay. Right, here we are. We're going to start up here with our crystal. We'll get that in there, Simon. I couldn't think of a better thing to be doing than we've been brewing. <laughs> and it's good fun. All the beautiful smells and aromas you get from things. Yeah. Right. Just begin the smell. Now I'd just, just like to sh get some of this up to the, the camera. Look at that. All the, the, the grains open, ready to release all them sugars. Beautiful. 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 Smells. Right. Really nice. Okay. Next, if we go in with our chocolate malt. Malt. Again, it smells like a beautiful kind of top quality coffee. Uh, I always pick up. Oh, yes. Now, do, do I mix any of yeah, this up? Yeah, or, or, yeah, mix yeah, it yeah okay. Mix it sure, it's all well incorporated. Right, okay. Oh, it's some salt in here as well, is it? Yes, just the brewing salt to get to make sure they're well mixed in. Excellent. That uh, should be good. Okay. Do you want to go in next with our roasted malt? Roasted barley. Okay, look at that. Beautiful. Give it a good mix. Good mix. This, this process we're doing here, it would, it would have been how it's been done for thousands of years. Oh, yes. Straight into the hands. Yeah, exactly. We're more of a traditional brewery Fantastic. here. Fantastic. Yeah, great. Next in, we've got our wheat. Okay. I'll just show some of this up to the camera before. And the wheat, does that give a, a lot of flavour, is it? Or is it more for the body? It's more or? for the body, it's more for the head retention, stuff okay. like that. Excellent. Beautiful. Superb. beautiful chocolate flakes here that we've picked up from Willie's Cacao in Afcon. Okay. Very local to us, only 15 minutes down the road. If you want to go in next with them, they're going to impart that beautiful chocolate flavour that we need for this chocolate sour. So the the kind of local chocolatier. Oh yes. Brilliant, brilliant. So you can smell them, they smell like an incredibly fine chocolate, they smell superb. Great. Okay, let's give this a... Uh... Oh, that smells absolutely wonderful. I wish this camera had smell a vision. <laughs> <laughs> that would be excellent. Okay. Right, and last but definitely not least, you know, the oats behind you. That these are going to give the beer a fantastic stouty body. Right, the creamy, kind of yes. luxurious mouthfeel you're going to be. Oh, look at that. Great. Beautiful. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pause this for a minute and bring the camera over and uh, just show me mixing this stuff up. Okay, so all the ingredients are in. This is the, the oats, the flake, the flaked oats, is it? It is indeed. Look at that. And the chocolate's in, everything is in. We're just going to give it a good mix up. There you start to see the chocolate and the, the roasted malt and all these different ingredients in the beer in, in the, the, the... well with the ingredients I should say <laughs> <laughs> how was that, is that okay? yep that's beautiful okay look at that right. fantastic let's get some mashing cheers, let's mash in okay so all the ingredients are mixed up we're going to start the sparging, is it? The, no, the, the, we're laying the foundation liquor in Okay, now. we're going to lay the foundation liquor in the brew. And then we're putting the grain. Lovely. You can just see that hot water coming through at 72 degrees. 
hitting the, the base plate of the brew. Okay, I think we're nearly there. Okay, let's go in with the first. So you're going to be pouring this in, I'm going to make sure that I get the, the all the ingredients all over in different places. Uh, so it doesn't kind of stick up. And, is that okay? Yeah, that's it right? fine. Get it well mixed in there. Yeah. It smells like hornet. Don't it smell lovely? A beautiful smell mm. here. I love the smell of the malt. Yeah. Nothing like the smell of malt first thing in the morning. First thing in the morning. <laughs> On a cold winter day as well. Well, it's meant to be April. It's still winter. Um, can I just ask you? Have you got a great water source here being in, um, in Somerset, Devon? Yes, we have, yeah. We've got a great quality of water. Fantastic. So that's why we're lucky with all our brews. Yeah. Right, I think we're ready for number two. No. Nope. Now malt again. We go for our adjuncts, what you were mixing up just now, Simon. Look at this. No. We're really going to fill this mash tun. Really going to fill this mash tun with, with the best ingredients possible for beer, I'd say. I think we're going to overflow. Great. You can really understand why breweries years ago, they'd have beer allowance, wouldn't they? For yeah, this kind of, right. it's hard work. On <laughs> kind of work, yeah. Let's stop that for a minute, we'll get all that well mixed in. Picking up the roasted and the, the bitterness from the chocolate, but the roasted malt mixed with the is it crystal malt? Yeah, it's yeah. crystal malt in there. The crystal is really and the roasted is really giving off a lovely, lovely smell. There's a reason why they say beer is good for you, eh? Yeah. <laughs> All these lovely All ingredients the going ingredients, in. Yeah. Okay, well, how's that? I think we're doing alright. Can I just have a little... Yeah, absolutely. Just like the feel, whether everything's mixed. Yeah. Feels good. You've done a good job there, Simon. Thank right. you. Right, let's get in some more pail. Look at this, old master! <laughs> you can see the actual ingredients needed for an imperial stout. It's going to be, yeah. yeah, it's going to be a lot. You've got to be careful you don't throw it all over the place. That's right, right yeah. You? Or all over yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Remember that's 72 degrees as well that we're yeah. putting in there. So. It's quite warm. Yeah. Look at this. This is... Looks absolutely great. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen a mash tun look as good as this. <laughs> Feels, feels quite 
Wow. <laughs> now it's getting hard. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't think it was winter anymore. <laughs> Jumped in there, I'd lay on the top. It's so thick. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of green in there. Wow, yeah, look at this. Okay, that is absolutely brimming. Brimming full of wonderful mixed grain, all sourced locally, the chocolate sauce locally. Great stuff. We'll have a little look to see if there's yep. any lumps and bumps in this. Just have a feel. Oh no, that feels like a good mix. Yeah. Yeah, you've done well there, I think, Simon. Great, thank you. So when you finished your day job, give yeah. us a shout. <laughs> <laughs> And this 
get the lid on. Okay. We mashed in. There. Yeah. Good mashing in. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, so the next stage of the brew is process. The malt and the ingredients have been sitting in the mash tun for an hour and a half. We're going to transfer it over into the to the uh, under back into the copper. Okay, start. Oh, look at that. What a lovely colour. So the process here, what's the idea of putting it through this? Um, um, the underback stops it's so that we don't draw off the bottom of the mash bed. Okay. What we're doing is allowing gravity to fill the underback and then on into the top air. I got you. Okay. Cool. Smells lovely. It smells absolutely fantastic. So this process here, what is it, a 10 minute one, a 15 minute one, or is it? It'll be about half an hour. Okay. Get us across. Okay. Because we're going to sparge at the same time. Oh, if you look carefully, you can just see the, the malt dropping. dropping there in the in the master now. There she goes. There we go, we're now sparging. So for the new people who might have caught this video completely by accident, what's the sparging process? What's the process of Spraying this hot water over the over the malt. We're doing two things. We're dragging out all the sugars that we need for the um, for our brew, and we're also stopping the enzymes working. And we're doing that by using the hot water from the hot liquor tank. Okay. And rushing it, washing it through the grains to get all the sugars out we can. You're really getting the most out of that malt. You're, you're taking all the sugar out of the malt, all that flavour. That's right. Yes, we are. Okay. Cheers for now. Okay, so this is right at the end of the. Well, we're just filling up the copper. And as you can see, we're hitting the top. But look at the colour. If you can pick up the colour of that for you, it's jet black. It's starting to look like an imperial stout already and it's only two hours young. But I love these little windows in the copper here. You can view the, you can view the beer filling up. Or the wort, it's still wort at this stage, isn't it? It's still wort, It's yeah. still wort at this stage. There you go. And uh, here's the process of digging up the mash tun. <laughs> yeah, now kind of the clean up starts. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, so it's time again to empty the master. 
this being not too difficult this one really is it, it's, uh, there's not too much to do. That's a bit smaller than you're yeah. used to isn't it? Yeah, uh, jumping <laughs> in with a, a, a shovel, getting all sweaty. <laughs> so what do you do with the the, the grain that, you, that you've used, the spent grain? Uh, we've got a local farmer that comes to pick it up okay. and he'll be here tonight looking forward to feeding his pigs. Fantastic. Alright, will he stay for a beer? Yes he does, he's a, a real ale man and uh, will certainly stay for a beer or two or three. <laughs> okay. Well I'm going to carry on emptying this but um, catch an S process which is probably adding the hops is it? Or it will be because we're waiting to go on the boil and then we'll be there. Cheers. And traditionally as we visit every brewery on the Real Ale Guide we try the wort. So it's the first kind of look at the beer. Love this stuff, it's freezing cold outside, it's a nice warm kind of Horlicks if you like. A lot of brewers drink a glass of this to warm themselves up in the morning after they've got to the worst stage. And that's just a really nice kind of sugary, warming, Horlicks kind of drink. I imagine, I've probably said it before, I imagine they got Horlicks from this kind of, this beer. Uh, the, this, the, the malt, I'm sure they, it was brewers who invented Horlicks, I, I would imagine. But that's beautiful. Cheers. Okay, so it's time to add the all-important hops. And it's not just the hops we're going to be adding. We've got some Willie's Cacao locally sourced chocolate mixed in with the hops, which are Pilgrim. Pilgrim hops from the UK. So let's get this into the brew. And this will be... The bitterness from the hops and the bitterness from the chocolate. All going in there. There you go. I don't know if you want to pass me up the camera to. Oh, that's all them lovely hops in there. Let that boil away. Oh, look at that. Wow, there you go. I expect all that chocolate's melted now. And you can smell the hops. Oh, wonderful. Lovely. Cheers, everyone. Okay, so. Boil the broody equipment's inside, boiling away, here's the flu, and you're just getting like the, the hot malt aroma mixed in with the hops, and that just smells great, it smells great, really really nice, lovely stuff. So we're just outside, smelling the fumes from the beer, and here is it boiling away? Here's the, here's the copper. And look at that. It's the first time in all the breweries I've been to where you've got a window where you can actually see the action very, very clearly. It's a lovely shot. Cheers. Okay, so we're at the stage now where we add the mint to the mint chocolate imperial stout, the brew. Go. Fresh mint, again sourced locally, so we got freshly sourced chocolate, freshly sourced mint. And well, this is Europe's first mint chocolate imperial stout, so wow, you can you can smell that already. And watch now as it begins to boil up. Here it goes, and then it disappears into the brew. Superb. Oh, there we are. So fantastic. So the next stage of the brew 
thing is, would, is it going to let you hop in or is it adding the yeast at the end? No, we're now going to, uh, or we're going to wait uh, a, a small amount of time and then we're going to transfer to the fermenter. Okay. Then we'll add yeast. Absolutely. That's our next step. Cheers. Okay, so now we're transferring the hot liquor out of this copper through this pipe and over into the fermentation vessel where you can hear it if I climb this ladder there you go where you can hear it filling up here into the tank you really can get a sense of that mint it's really nice and minty and the next job now is to pitch to the yeast. Cheers. Okay, so here's the beautiful looking yeast. Now what am I doing this, with, with this yeast? Well, if you could pitch it into the flow, Simon, that would be great. Okay. Yeah. Sealed, set. I cannot wait for this Imperial Stout to now just sit here and I just, the time is going to take oh, probably a week. Cannot wait to get it in the bottle, into the house and get it reviewed. Thanks for having me, the Master Brewery. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers.